Shalom Aleichem to everyone. I'm not sure I have what to add on after uh, the psich of Rav Usually I don't hear the psichas, but now that I was able to hear it live, I have a suffix whether or not there's what to add on, but we'll see. You all heard before that there's a famous steerer between Taisis and Ksubis and Taisis and Sochem. Let's just take two minutes and explain the, the nature of the stira. The nature of the stira is as follows. Taisis and Ksubis, Tafim Zayin says that you're allowed to get married during Taisvis Yantiv. Even though we have a din on Yantiv, Ein Ma'arvin Simcha Besimcha. But in Taisvis Yantiv, there's no din of Simcha's Yantiv. The Lashon of Taisvis over here in Ksubis Dafim Zayin is Shu Kiyantiv Le'inyan Melacha. So the Velt learned, it was Makubal in the Velt, that what Taisvis meant to say in Ksubis Dafim Zayin was was that the din of Taisvis Yantif, which is learned out of a Pasuk in a Gemara Nyuma Dafi Aleph and a Gemara Shoshana Daftes, is nothing more than a din of Isr Malacha. You can come out, call it, for a better, uh, lack of a better Lashen, come out like a Gzeri de Raisa, that the Torah asked Malacha before the time came. The Baal Taisvis Yantif is nothing more than an Isr Malacha. Like I'm saying, we'll call it a Gzeri de Raisa. The Torah said, you know something, don't do Malacha when it gets close to Yantif. So obviously, all the other dinim, like Simchus Yantav, don't apply, because it's not really Yantav at all. It's just an Isra Malacha before Yantav. It's not Isra Malacha earlier. And that's why Tesi says in Ksubis Dafim Zayin, that the dinner, for example, of Simchus Yantav, which would also preclude a person getting married, because Eimah Avin Simchus Yantav, Simchus Yantav, doesn't apply in the Zman of Tesi Yantav. So Rebbe Honon, in Kovich Yorim, Simen Chesim Sochem, asks a steer to Tesi Sochem. The Tesi Sochem says, that a person can't be yates a mitzvah sachilas matzah in Taisvis Yantav of Erev Pesach, because there's a hekish the Korban Pesach, it says Laila. The Lashon of Taisvis is that the chsiv ochlos of also belayla ze matzah umar iskish le Pesach. So we bought this din of Laila, so you can't eat matzah during the Taisvis Yantav. Shtein Taisvis, that fundamentally, if not for the fact that there was a hekish to Laila, a person would be able to entice his yantav and every Pesach eat matzah. Now, that's the steer. The steer is that the same way Taisa says in Ksubis, that the whole din of Taisa's yantav is nothing more than a din of Isra Malacha. And that's why, for example, the din of Simcha's yantav doesn't apply because it's not really yantav. It's just an Isra Malacha. So why in the world would anybody have a Havamina to think that there's a ability to eat matzah, be a kind of mitzvah, the rice of Achilles matzah during this man of Taisa's yantav? And the only reason why you can't is because you. We need Laila, even without Laila. It's not Yantav. It's Arab Yantav, just as an Isra Malacha. That's the stira between Taisis and Ksubis and Taisis and Sochem. So let's summarize the stira. In the Taisis and Ksubis, it's Mashma, then in Taisis Yantav, it's not Yantav. It's nothing more than an Isra Malacha. And none of the dinam of Yantav and none of the mitzvahs of Yantav apply. And the Taisis and Sochem is Mashma that fundamentally, Theoretically, a person would have been able to be Makayim Mitzvah Achilles Matzah during this man of Taisis Yantav, except there's a local din of Laila. But if not for that, a person would have been the battery is running low. But if not for that, a person would have been able to the be Makayim Mitzvah Matzah. So the question is, let's say over the stira in the Nusach that. the So the steer fundamentally is, let's say over now the steer between these two tesis in, in the Nusach of the Gedar Le'achreinim, the Emek Brocha, it's not in, the Emek Brocha in the Sefer has a, brings down this Chakira, the Minchas Chinuch in a number of places, but the Iker in Mitzvah Shinch of Gimel, the Mitzvah in Shinch of Gimel, Minchas Chinuch in Shinch of Gimel, the Emek Bracha and the Minchas Chinuch and Shem Chav Gimel, Klera Chakira, is Taisus Yantiv nothing more than an Isra Malacha, which means that fundamentally it's not Yantiv and one cannot be Mekayim any of the mitzvahs of Yantiv, just the Torah slapped on an Isra Malacha. Your battery, it's not, it's not plugged in, so we're going to die in a second.
Okay. Or the, the second, hold on, the, the, the internet's not good now. Now it is fine. So the Emek Bracha and the Michas Chinach, Clara Shaila, fundamental Hakira, what is Taisus Yantiv? Is it just an Isser Malacha, which means that it's not Yantiv at all? Or the internet's not working well, though. So that's the Hakira of the Emek Bracha and the Michas Chinuch. What is Taisus Yantiv? Is it nothing more than an Isser Malacha and it's not Yantiv at all? Or is Taisus of Yantiv an expansion of the Yantiv itself? The Nafkamini is, can a person do the mitzvahs of Yantiv during this time? We have a Steerus Taisus. Taisus and Ksuba says absolutely not. For example, there's no Simchus Yantiv. Taisus himself seems to say that fundamentally, yes, if not for the fact that there was a special Ksuba of Alayla. I want to address the Steera and use it as a springboard to go a little bit deeper into this Hakira of the Gedele Achorinim. The Hakira of the Emek Brocha that I just said, and the Stira, the Hakira of the Emek Brocha and the Mechus Chinuch, and the Stira Satayis is in, is based on a very extreme approach to the union of Taisus Yantav and Shabbos. Meaning one side is that it has no Shachat B'chal to Yantav at all, it's just an Isra Malacha alone. It's an isolated Isra Malacha without any of the dinam of Shabbos or Yantav at all. And the other extreme is that it's Mama Shabbos, it's Mama's Yantav, and theoretically a person could eat Matzah because the Yantav of Pesach started earlier during the Zman of the Tesefas. What we want to see now, I want to begin the journey to show Kama of a Kama of a Kama of a that there's a third possibility in understanding it, which is the beginning of the answer on this Tiras Otesis. The is like this. The, 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 the story really starts in a different place. The Gemara says in Brochus, that Chav Zayin that a person's allowed to make Kiddush before Shabbos. Suda Shabbos is a machlekes in Reish Samach Zayin, Mishnah Brua, Sifkot, and Hay. I repeat. The, the, the journey of understanding what Tais Ever Shabbos is really begins with the Gemara Brochus, that Chav Zayin. The Gemara Brochus, Chav Zayin says, that a person could make Kiddush earlier before nighttime on Erev Shabbos. What about eating a Suda? On that is a Machlekes, which Rav Shlema read before, in Simon Reish HaMazayin, Mishabura, Sifkot, and Hay. And there's a whole debate. So we want to understand a bunch of things. First of all, let's start. I want to put down a bunch of questions. If the gather of Taisa Shabbos is nothing more than an Isra Malacha, so then like the Velt says, that's Pshat and the Taisus and Ksubas, and that's why there's no mitzvah simple and there's no problem of Ma'arv and Simcha Basimcha, and the person can get married then. So it's nothing more than Isma Malacha. Rabbi say, if it's nothing more than Isma Malacha, so then why are you allowed to make Kiddush? And if you're allowed to make Kiddush, so then why did the Suda Shabbos become an argument? It's a very, very deep Shaila. Why Kiddush yes and Suda Shabbos not? But I would add on another question, and, and why Kiddush Bukhal? If it's only an Isra Malacha, that's the first question I think we need to address, that if we're going to accept the fact that there's a legitimate Hakira, which is articulated in a Stira Satais, so the first question we have to ask is, okay, so then why a lot of make Kiddush? So it's very interesting. The Rambam resolves the issue. The Rambam in uh, Perk Hoftes, Halacha Yeralef, says an astounding thing, and uh, the Minchas Chinuch speaks about it at great length, the Mitzvah Lamed Aleph, it's good to see inside. The Rambam in uh, in Perak Chavtes Perak Halachah Yir Aleph Yochel Shabbos says a tremendous chiddush. He says Yefle Lo Adam LeKadosh Al Akoyis Erev Shabbos Mi Ba'Oy Joim Avo Pishaloi Nichne Asa Shabbos She Mitzvah Zchira La Amra Bein B'Shas Knisasoi V'Itziyasoi Bein Koydim L'Shal Zumat. The the Rambam says that the the din of Kiddush is big Knisosoi. Now, the Achorinim explained that the sheet of the Rambam is, is that the, the Achorinim explained that the sheet of the Rambam is, is that Rambam doesn't hold Bukhal of Taisa Shabbos. The Rambam, the Ragged Mishnah in Parag Dalat, Hilchus Hanukkah, brings down that the Rambam doesn't bring down ever anywhere the din of uh, Kabbalah Shabbos, anywhere the din of Tesefa Shabbos. So the Rambam holds that that, that we make Kiddush earlier it's not because of the Sefer Shabbos. The reason why we make Kiddush is because before Shabbos comes in, to welcome Shabbos in, a person makes Kiddush. 
Now, if uh, that would be the case, so then we have a resolution of our problem. I can theoretically learn that the Sefer Shabbos, those who learn that the Sefer Shabbos, the visitant of the Sefer Shabbos, is nothing more than an Ism Malacha. And if you'll ask me, so how do we make Kiddush? We have a Ramam anyway who says that Kiddush is detached from the Sefer Shabbos anyway. In other words, I'm saying like this if you hold that there's a thing called the Sefer Shabbos and you hold that the Sefer Shabbos is an Ism Malacha, so how do you make Kiddush? The answer is it's worse. I have a Ramam who doesn't hold up the Sefer Shabbos. Bukhal. The Ramam doesn't bring down the Sefer Shabbos anywhere, not in Yom Kippur. And not in uh, not mm-hmm. in uh, other places. The Magamisha says in Parak Dalad it was Hanukkah. In the end of the Parak, the Ram doesn't hold of the Seven Shabbos. He doesn't hold of the of the din. I the Ram says, I, what about Kiddush? So the Ram of the Shitosa he explains him the Sanoch. The Ram of the Shitosa holds that the Kiddush that you make is big Knis also. It has nothing to do with Shabbos. There's a din to make Kiddush before Shabbos comes in. So so if it's true that we have such a Ram who holds that we make Kiddush earlier, nothing to do with the Seven Shabbos. So with that, we can end that, that department. We could say that, okay, let's say we have this Taisis and Ksubis who seems to say that the dinner of the Seven Shabbos is nothing more than Rizim Malacha. If you ask me, okay, so then why do you make Kiddush? So then, uh, what, so if you ask me, so then why do you make Kiddush? So the answer is, is that uh, Kiddush is a different story completely, that uh, the Kiddush is Biknis also. Anyway, the Ramam doesn't hold up the Seven Shabbos by, by Shabbos and Yontif. And uh, he holds that uh, Kiddush has to do with Kinesa. So, so if, if that's the case, I want to put that in a box. And uh, that's a whole shita. And uh, that, that's what I would call the extreme position of the Sefer Shabbos. Sefer Shabbos is, is a malacha. You're asking why you make Kiddush. The answer is because Kiddush be Kinesa. And by the way, according to that, then it's a no-brainer that you can't eat the Suda. Because it's a special Rambam who says that Kiddush a person makes be Kinesa. When Shabbos comes in, we're Mekadosh the Shabbos. In which case, it has no shaykhs to the to seven Shabbos, and there is nothing else going on besides it. That's, that's certainly an extreme, but very clear approach. If we're going to go with the tzad that it's an isa malacha, we're going to neutralize the issue of Kiddush, and uh, that whole tzad is over. L'chaira, in the Goyen, in Shulchan Aruch, in Yeridea, steht an andere Sachen ganzen, and I want to be marchiv to attempt to explain this Goyen. The Goyen is a mavel tikkel Goyen. And I want to bring a number of very, very interesting examples to bring out perhaps what the Heidelberg Goyen meant to say. What does it say? And this Goyen is a maftech to the whole sugya over here. It's a, it's a maftech to the whole sugya, which gives us Bemis a new understanding of what's going on. It's like this. The Goyen, the Shogun Dinah Shogun is a very interesting din. It's in the Tzadik Vav in Hilfus Nida. The, the Machaber and the Ramah bring down uh, between the Kadmoinim, the Trumas Adeshin, the Maril, the Gansa Maisa. What's the, what's the, what was the Nida? The Nida was that if the Tzibur was already Mekabal on themselves, if the Tzibur was already Mekabal on themselves, Shabbos, they already died in Mairiv, could the lady still do a Badika? Is it still called Yoim? So the Ramah over here says, Yesh Aymrim in his palu hakol arvis, voida yam godol, any chol livzik. She can't do bedik anymore because it's already Shabbos. The Yesh Aymrim de Mutter. So it's very interesting. The Shach over here on Sif Dalid says the reason why it's Mutter is why. He says, Look, it's not nighttime yet. Nido and the sphere of the Nido, Shivanikim, is totally in day and night. It's a totally irrelevant whether it's a Shabbos or not. As I state in the Shach over here. The Goin, when he explains this Shita of why, even though they were Makabal Shabbos, still the ladies allowed to do the Bedik of Shiva Nikim, says as follows. Look in Siv Kot and Vov. You, you all have on your screen over here in the Goin on the bottom. Ayin Taisis the Ksubas Mim Zayin, Ubi Psach Mitzadik Tes, Ubrochus Rav Zayin Rebbeis, the Goyen explains, I want to say over the words, I'm going to say maybe uh, in the Goyen, but I want to be Matsi over here, a new a new to the Sugya from this Goyen. The Goyen says as follows. First of all, the words of the Goyen and then the Toichen. What the Goyen says is, you want to know why by Tosef Shabbos the ladies allowed to still do Badik of Shiv and Nikim? So the Goyen of Azog, and I'll tell you why. Because albeit it's true that the Sefer Shabbos is Laila, but it's only Laila, the Gabi things which are Shaykh le Shabbos. I'm quoting the Goin. Shard Vorm that are not Shaykh le Shabbos, it's not Laila. This is a fantastic Goin. The Goin's a game changer. If you don't mind me using a modern expression, 
the Goyin Haloi quotes the Tosis in Ksubis. The Tosis in Ksubis is the one that the Velt waved as a flag, as the example of Isra Malacha. Now, my Rabbi Sai, if the Pshat Tosis in Ksubis, according to the Halig of Goyin, was that Tosis Shabbos is nothing more than an Isra Malacha, and that's why there's no mitzvah of Simchus Yontif, so then if I'll ask you, so why is the lady allowed to be boidik shiv in the kim? The Goyin doesn't have to explain a fancy lumbus of Lashar Dvorm, the Lashar of Shabbos, Vade Lav Lailu. Although the whole din of 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 Tzitzis Shabbos has no relevance to Bechal Tzitzis neither because it's nothing more than an Isra Malacha. What's the Goyin explaining Bechal? What's the Goyin saying? Fancy Lashonis Mikal de Lashar Dvorm de Lashach of Shabbos Lav Lailu. It's Laila Lagabi this and it's not Laila Lagabi that. It's not Laila Lagabi anything. It's nothing. It's just an Isra Malacha. So that's why I'm asking a Moridik Kakash on the Goyin. When the Halakha Goyin over here in Kuf Tzadik Vov in in in, in your day, a Sitkom Vov is coming to explain why a lady is allowed to be Boidik after Tzavah Shabbos still. So what does he say? He says the Tzadik Zubis state that it's not Laila and Gansin. The Tzadik Zubis state that it's not Laila Bechlal. It's nothing. It's just an Isra Malacha. If it's just an Isra Malacha, there's no reason for the Goyin to apologize and explain anything. But for Pella Mamish. Moreover. The Goyin is almost a cynical Goyin. The Goyin brings down the Taisus in Psachim and the Taisus in Ksubis. The Welt asked, the Barash, the whole world asked, it's one of the famous steers in, 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 in Moyed, steer between two Taisus in, and the Goyin brought down both of them to back up his position. Obviously, the Goyin held that it's not such a big steer, and he understood that there's a Gavisa Yesoid for Shtay in both Taisus in. Now, the Welt Bukhar is correct, that's what Bukhanan asked. The two Taisus in are polar opposites. One Taisus says that it's only an Isra Malach and therefore the mitzvahs of Yantuf don't apply. And the other Taisus says that it, 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 the mitzvahs of Yantuf fundamentally do apply. But the Goyin, A, brings down both Taisus in B'chad Machta, and Sveins, the Goyin says a different husband of Jan Taisus in Ksubis. A boy say, what's in this Goyin? What's in this Goyin is that the Goyin didn't hold of this Chakira. I want to explain a few things, what the Goyin meant and why the Fizeh the, the steer, quote unquote, is dramatically weakened. There's still an akuda of a steer, perhaps, but it's a different, it's a different story. Vazbar Asvari, I want to go on a journey. The going, first of all, took on that this business of Issa Malach is not true. The going understood that Tesefa Shabbos has a din Laila. The going understood that that the Taisa says that it's only for Issa Malach. It doesn't mean that the whole din of Tesefa Shabbos was only an Issa Malach of the Gadin. What the Taisa learned was that Tesefa Shabbos has only been the Gaya to Issa Malach. I want to explain what I meant. The Velt brings down the Chakira, the Taisik Zubish state that Tzavah Shabbos is not Shabbos. No, it's an Isra Malacha on the Choyl. Like I said before, it's a Gzeira Azat, it's a Gzeira the Raisa, it stopped working earlier. The Goyin state name, Tzavah Shabbos is Shabbos. No, it's only Dine Shabbos, the Gabi Isra Malacha. That's what he means, by the way. That's what the Goyin says, that Hagam, that Tzavah Shabbos, Avada and Avada is Laila, but it's only Laila, the Gabi Shabbos. And he brought, listen to the beauty now, he brought two Taisis in, that limited the Shem Laila. To say, the Goyen of Ashtar and the Ravad and Ravad of Tzav Shabbos has a Shem Laila. The people are going. Tzav Shabbos has a Din Laila. No, he brought two Tzavs in that both of them said it only has a Din Laila, Ligabi certain things and not Ligabi other things. First of all, let's talk about the Etzim Zach that there's a split. The Goyen was coming to prove that it's a Muslim of having a Shem Laila, Ligabi Aleph, not Ligabi Beis. And he brought in that two Tzavs in. Taisus number one is in Ksubis, which states that it's Laila Lagabi Isra Malacha, but it's not Laila Lagabi Simchus Yantuf. And Taisus number two is the Taisus Psachim that says that it's Laila Lagabi Tesefis Yantuf, but it's not Laila Lagabi Matzah. That's, first of all, by the way, the beginning of the answer of how he was able to bring both Taisus in Bechad Machta, because the, the both Taisus are saying the fundamentally the same Yisoyed. They're both saying that Tesefis Shabbos is Shabbos, and it is Laila. Just only Lagabi Givisa things. So that's the going, first of all, in general. That since we see that there's an ability to split Lagabi, what is a cool Shabbos, Lagabi not? Well, Lagabi Sphere Slimer, Lagabi Exclusion, Lagabi Nita, Lagabi Shivan Akim, it's not called, it's not called um, Laila. At Khan, the Tsura of the Goyen. Now we have to understand the Goyen. But what does it mean? But what is the rule? What are the standards? Says the Halo of the Goyen. That the Shard Varim, the Leshayach Oh, the Shaila is. What's the rule? What's the standard that the Goyen says? The Goyen says that the standard is, is it Shaykh Shabbos? Very interesting, uh, very interesting expression, a vague expression. We only say that it's called Laila in things which are Shaykh Shabbos. Things which are Shaykh Shabbos. Now, Sirius Oemer, excuse me, Zayin, my head's in Sirius Oemer, I apologize. Zayin Nikiyim has no Shaykh Shabbos, that we agree. So it's not called Laila. But the Tzachon the Tifa Raid, Simchas Yomtiv is not Shaykh Shabbos to Yomtiv. Achilles matzah is not shaykh to yontif. 
Now, in other words, this going for sure is a radical change. The going neutralized the stero. The going said there's no stero over here fundamentally. The going first of all didn't hold of the tzad of, of Issa Molocha. I'm explaining again the tzad of Issa Molocha, Rabbi Isai, means that it's not Shabbos Bechlal, it's an Issa Molocha on the choil. The going held not like that. The going held that it's called Laila, but it's called Laila Lagabi Shabbos. It's also stated in the of the that there's an Issa Molocha. It's not because it's only an Issa Molocha, it's only only Shabbos, the Gabi Yisra Malacha. Why? Because that's called Shaykh the Shabbos. Other things which are not Shaykh the Shabbos, it's not called Laila. What are the examples? Taisis in Psochim, the Gabi Matzah, and Taisis in Ksubis, the Gabi Yisra Malacha. First of all, the Taisis already have moved almost close to each other. There's the, 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 the Kamat no steer anymore. There's still a slight steer, and that's the fact that Taisis had to bring down the Hekish in Taisis in Psochim. But fundamentally, what the Hale of Goyen is answering is, is answering Rabbi Hanan's kasha. There's no stira. Both Taisus are saying that 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 Taisus Shabbos is Lila, but it's only Lila, but Dvarm Hashiach and Shabbos, and Zayin Nikin is not Shayach Shabbos, and Isser Malacha is. Now, the big question is, and why is Matzah not Shayach Shabbos? And why is um, Simchas Yontav not Shayach Shabbos? Shayach Shabbos means something that's correct. Though. Zayin Nikin is not Shayach Shabbos, obviously. It's not a derivative of Shabbos. But Matzah is, and Simchas Yontav is. Why dafka Kiddush and Yisra Malacha as opposed to these two things? Is I want to be Matia that after the going meant like this. Reb Chaim in the stencil asks on Taisus and Sachem. Reb Chaim in the stencil asks on Taisus and Sachem. Let me see if we have it on the screen here. Did you guys put it up? Yeah, I have it, I have it there. Yeah. Okay. I have a slightly different nusuk, but it's, it's come out word for word. I have the new version. The Reb Chaim, I, I want to use the Reb Chaim. The, the Reb Chaim over here in the stencil, as you know, is not a quote word for word Reb Chaim said, but we'll go with the Mahalov that this is what he said. He said, I'm worried to Kazakh that if the Rishos, I want to explain what he said. Taisus had a, Taisus says that fundamentally a person will be able to eat matzah in Taisus Yantif. The only reason is because of Laila. Frek Reb Chaim, I'm going to read the Lashon inside, not because we're quoting a stencil, by the way, but the Chaim says like this. Ubechlal, the Tesef is yontiv, ene shayich, el le kedushas yontiv, u le iser molacha. Ava ma shayich Tesef is le mitzvah miyuchada is kigoyen matzah, is sukkah, she ain lem shayich is le din yontiv. El le he mitzvah is protiyos, she chiva ha teiro le kaimom, ve kovo lehem zman. Ubechasa Tesef is, adayin lo yegi azmanom. Murray the Kerr of Chaim. The Chaim says there's a thing called Din Yontif. Tesef Shabbos is only things which are negated to Din Yontif. Things which are not negated to Din Yontif, like Matzah and Sukkah. Um, Tesef Shabbos doesn't know, but that's why he doesn't understand what Tesis wants. What's Tesis handling? Whether or not a person can eat Matzah during Tesef Shabbos or not. And Tesis brings a Hekish from Korm Pesach says Lila on them. There's no side on the world that Tesef Shabbos is enough to eat Matzah because. The Sefer Shabbos has only been a gay to Din Yontif. Matzah is not a function of the Din of Yontif. It's something that you do on Yontif. I think that's what Chaim means. There's a thing called a Chaloy Shem Yontif. There are Dinah which are derivatives of the Chaloy Shem Yontif. And then there are things that I do on Yontif. Okay? Reb Chaim is saying that the dinner of, that means it's very interesting. Reb Chaim is launching a new attack on the Tayyazim Sochem. The Velt launches an attack on the Tayyazim Sochem from the Tayyazim Ksubis that it states that it's, it's just an Issa Malach. If it's Issa Malach, Avadi, you can't eat matzah. Reb Chaim is launching a different attack on the Tayyazim Sochem. Reb Chaim is tiny, even if it's not an Issa Malach, and it's already a Yomtiv, but the only things which Tayyazim Sochem, the only Dinim which are generated by Tayyazim Shabbos is only things which are Din Yomtiv, something which is not a Din Yomtiv. What you do it on Yomtiv, that the Sefer Shabbos doesn't include. A new attack on Taisus, nothing to do with Isser Malacha, even if it's not just Isser Malacha, even if it's a Din Yantiv, but the derivative, the Dinim with the Sefer Shabbos generator, are only things which are derivatives and a Teloda of the Din Yantiv, not things that you do on Yantiv. And Matzah and Sokka, Sefer Chaim are things that you do on Yantiv. I think the Olam realizes that this Reb Chaim rings in our ears, the Goin. What the Goin say? The Goin said that the Sefer Shabbos is only things which are Shaykh to Shabbos. So we said, but wait a minute, but he brought the thesis of, of, of Sochem, which is Matzah. He brought the thesis of Ksubis, which is Simchas Yontif. That's not Shayach to Shabbos. But Rabbi said, we already have a Reb Chaim over here who's saying something, come at the same thing. Reb Chaim is not coming tiny Isra Malach. Reb Chaim is, Reb Chaim is tiny, it's a Din Yontif. And Hagdam that it's a Din Yontif, part, it's not included, it doesn't include Matzah and Sochem. 
what, what's the beer advarm? Is the chayr of the beer advarm in the Reb Chaim, and perhaps in the Goin, is as follows. The Shulchan Rav, in Simen, in Simen Tzav Tzadik Aleph, the Shulchan Rav says something very, very interesting. I think you have it on the screen there. The Tzav Tzadik Aleph in Kohen Gimel, the the in the Shulchan Aruch Harav in Tzavta Ragal Sif Sif Gimel the 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 Shulchan Aruch Harav at the end does a marvel to Kazakh which whoever could be the husband of Chaim which in turn could be the husband of the Goyim Shulchan Aruch Harav speaks about people who are sitting at the end of Yom Tov Achmed Shapesach by you Shvi Shapesach by us and they were Meirich and if it's a Shulchan Aruch Harav they were probably Eating Sudas Mashiach. And uh Shlemis says Sudas Agro, whatever it is, the the they were Mayrich. And they went into the Zman of Tesafes Yomtif at the end of Yomtif. Could they eat Khamitz? Okay, sir. Is there an Isr Khamitz during Tesafis Yomtif after Pesach? Says the Hail of the Shokanar Harav as follows. Last line at the end. The Kolshkein ain't Sarah Lahis of Michal Allah Kurdish. The Kolshkein the Indian Achilles Hamids, listen to this Lashen. She ain't a tolui clow be Kedusha Sayoim. Shere Afbachal Halashal Moir, also Lacho Hamids. Moir de Kalamdish Shokhanah Harabi says like this. He says, Tesephus Yantiv doesn't include Isra Hamids. Because Tesephus Yantiv is only things which are derivative of Kedusha Sayoim, quote unquote. And Isra Chomets is not a derivative of Kedusha Sayyim because he also has a Lamed also. You hear Maisa? It's a Lamed Shavort. Tesef is Yantiv, first of all, in this Shulchan Acharav, is again another articulation of the anti Hakira, the extremism. Although if it's an Isra Molacha, there's no side in the world that a person can't eat Chomets or could eat Chomets. What's he have to apologize for? You hear that convoluted Shtikul Torah, the Halig Shulchan Acharav had to say. He had to explain why you're allowed to eat chametz and tzav yantiv because the tzav yantiv is only things which are kedushas yantiv and chametz is not a derivative of kedushas yantiv because you know that in a chalamayit there is no kedushas yantiv. Heard the ma'aseh was put zakhda. What's the end of Shulchan Aruch Harav Rabbi Yisai? State the Mordechai Kazach. Don't state the soy, the rose. In this Shulchan Aruch Harav state that the gather of the tzav yantiv is not an issur malacha. The gather of the tzav yantiv is kedushas yantiv. I would be magdir as follows. The gather is is that. The kedusha of the yontif spreads itself out to choil. It means if you'll ask me, is it itzumoy shal yoyim? No, but the kedusha of the yontif was chal. The, that's what tesefes means. Tesefes means I'm able to expand the kedusha of the yontif to the choil, and this day is a halagatek. Says the halagat shulchan aruch that the dinim, which are spinned off and generated by tesefes yontif, are only things which are derivative of the kedusha of yontif. Chomets, the Israel Chomets has no shaykh to the Kedusha of Yontav. That means the Yontav of Pesach is over. Now we took the Halakite of Yontav and we spread it into the Chol. Chomets is not a derivative of the Halakite of Yontav. I mean, it's not a derivative of the Halakite of Yontav. You're allowed to eat Chomets. That's what the Shulchan Acharav means. It means that much in this Shulchan Acharav that together of um, together of, of Pesach, Shabbos, and Yontav is not just an Israel Malacha. That's for sure. It's a forge. That's why he has to apologize. Maybe Esher is an Isra Chomets, but it's also not an extension of the, of the calendar day of Pesach. The calendar day is over. Is if Chomets would be a derivative of the Kedusha of the Yantiv, it would apply by the expansion, because the expansion is an expansion of Kedusha into the Chol. Over if what? Over Rabbi Isai, Vibalt, Chomets happens to be not a derivative of Kedusha, because even on days where there's no Kedusha's Yantiv, for example, Chalamoy, there's Isra Chomets. So the Isra Chomets is a derivative of the Yantiv of Pesach, of the seven days. Sure, the seven days are over. The seven calendar days are over. And Mimela, that's the pshat. Why, Rabbi Isai, you're allowed to eat chametz. But he's there. By the way, the etzim din itself, I don't know if I gave it on the Marmukremis, is a Chaya Odom. Did I give it a Chaya Odom? Chaya Odom says in, um, not the Chaya Odom, I apologize, Mat Ephraim. Mat Ephraim, in Tof Reish, uh, 
In Hilchus Sukkot, Mat Ephraim says the same thing over here. Did I give the Did I give Mat Ephraim? Okay, we'll use Mat Ephraim for now anyway, because Mat Ephraim says the same thing. Mat Ephraim says that every of Sukkot you can't eat in the Sukkot before night. His lotion is over here. Simon Tofresh Ein Days of Gimel, if I'm not mistaken. His lotion over here is. You can't eat in the sukkah early during Taisus Yontu because I got that is kedushas hayoyim, but you can't eat in the sukkah. It, it, it cannot say the same thing as the Shulchan Acharav. Akupon and Mashal Yeah, let's continue. State the Shulchan Acharav also state the Matar Fraim in Hilchos Sukkah that together of uh, together of uh, together. Of, of Taisus Yontif is together of the expansion of the Kedusha Sayyim. And then you have to check which dinam are derivatives of the Kedusha Sayyim, which not. That's what Reb Chaim meant. When Reb Chaim meant Din Yontif, he meant to say the Chaloy Shem Yontif on the Choyl. It's, 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 it's a name Yontif, the Kedusha Yontif. So Reb Chaim meant to say was, was that the Din of, of, of Taisus Yontif is only been a gay to things which are derivatives of the din yontiv, meaning the chaloi shem kedushas yontiv on the day. It's a yom tov. It's not a regular day. So things which are derivatives of the chaloi shem yontiv on the day apply to Taisus yontiv. For example, isa malacha, which is a derivative of the kedusha of the separation of the day, the sanctification of the day, and kiddush. Matzah is not a derivative of the kedusha of the yontiv or the chaloi shem yontiv. Matzah is something that a person does on Yontiv, on the calendar day. Says Reb Chaim, the only time the Sefis Yontiv works is only been a geya to things that works. The only dinim which the Sefis Yontiv generates are dinim which are derivatives of the din Yontiv, like Kiddush and like Yisra Malacha. Now we understand we, we have to tell it to Kiddush. Because Kiddush, which is the Kiddusha of the day, the sanctification of the day, is a derivative of the din Yontiv, that it's a Yontiv today, that it's a holy day. That applies anytime I extend the holiness to Kedusha. All dinam, which I to get to the Chaloyz Din Yontif, what the Heilig Yishokharach Arav calls Kedusha Sayyoyim, what the Mat Ephraim calls Kedusha Sayyoyim, and Tafar Shayim Beis, all those things are, 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 are derivatives. So, Isim, so, so there are two classic examples of things which I get to Kedusha Sayyoyim. One is Isim Malacha, and the second thing is, is, um, is Kiddush. Now, Matzah, okay, and Simchas Yontif, are not derivatives of Kedusha's Yontif. They're things you do on Yontif. If it's a Yontif and it's the calendar day, there's a mitzvah to be happy. There's a mitzvah to, 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 to eat matzah because this is the day of the calendar day. But it's not a derivative of the Chaloy's Kedusha's Yontif. That's what the Goy meant to say. When the Goy meant to say that it's Laila, the Gabi, and Yonam, which are Shaykh the Shabbos. So it's a Pella. Matzah is not Shaykh the Shabbos. And he quotes the Tesis himself. Rabbi Isai, Simchas um, Yontiv is not is not Shach to Yontiv, and he calls the Taisus in Ksubis. No, he ain't not varm. If the shot in the Reb Chaim in the stencil is what the Shochan Aruch Rav meant to say, is what the what the Heilig Goyim meant to say when he said Shaych LeShabbos means like Kedusha Shabbos to the Etzim Shame Shabbos, not to the calendar day Shabbos. So it could be that Taisus Yontiv has a shame Laila. It gets the Kedusha like God be things which are Shach to Shabbos itself, not things you do on Shabbos or on Yontiv. That's why Kiddush, yes, Isra Malacha, yeah, but Simcha and Matzah, not. That's not much what the Reb Chaim said in the stencil. The Fiza, I think there's a big mockum to perhaps discuss Suda. Hagab that, like Rosh Lemba said, Suda could be a machlekes, the Shittosa, which we'll get to in a minute. But the Etzim Shail of Suda is an interesting Zach. Suda Shabbos is a derivative of the Kedusha. You make Kiddush and you eat a Suda on it. It's the Din Yontif. Or Suda Shabbos is something that you do on Yontif like Matzah. Hagam, that the machloikas that he brings down could be totally in what I'm going to speak about soon. But the etzim shailov, but it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not before, because the Mishabur doesn't connect the two machloikas in. He, he brings this as an independent shailo, whether or not the Shabbos and Yontif works for Suda. The shailo by Suda would be whether Suda is like Kiddush or not. Is Suda like Kiddush or Suda is like Matzah? Is Suda a derivative of the Din Yontif? That means the Kedushas Yontif requires that a person have a different, a different schedule, or is the Suda something that we do on Shabbos, like we do Matzah on Shabbos and Sukkah on Yontif, Matzah on Pesach and Sukkah's Yontif on Yontif, but it's not a derivative of the Kedushas Yontif. That itself could be the split between Kiddush and Suda. 
So please, uh, I want to address this very, very controversial and interesting marshal and taz that was mentioned before. If you don't mind, I want to expand on it for two minutes. The marshal, the taz brought down the marshal, who said something phenomenal. The marshal, to use the cynical terminology of the taz, instituted a new fast. When you get to Shkia, when you get the candle lighting or Ben Hashemoshes, Erev, Shemini Atzeres, you can't eat. And you can't make it as really, right? Normally, if it's if I'm hungry, even if I'm after candle lighting and even if I'm Besar Shkia, not so says I can make Kiddush and eat. You can't. Why not? Because the minute you're going to make Kiddush, the Kiddush is Shemini Atzeres, the Kiddush, the Kiddush, the Hello, the Baila, it's still Sukkot. You're going to have to make a It's a Tati Disaster. The topic of Tati Disaster is not our topic. What, what that is, but you can't make Kiddush or Shmini Atzeres with the Leishev Tzazamen. We responded to him, the Taz, that there's no problem. You don't have to sit in the Sukkah. Yeah, my son, Noir Rabbi Say. The Taz says that if I was Makabul on myself, Shmini Atzeres, early, it's Shmini Atzeres. The calendar day changed. Noir Rabbi Say, it's not, it's not, it's not Hashanah Rab anymore. I don't have to sit in the Sukkah. Now, this Taz, made everybody crazy. The Taz is saying that the Sefes Yontav will use up a kula. You don't have to sit in a sukkah anymore because it's already Shemini Atzeres and it's called the Yontav Shemini Atzeres and you put them sitting in a sukkah. By the way, the sun is shining outside. You have to know what's going on. The guy was with Kabbal Yontav from Plag and the sun is shining outside and he's sitting in his house and he's not sitting in his sukkah because he already was with Kabbal Yontav Shemini Atzeres. So the Taz is not an astounding thing that we use to Sefer Shabbos the kula. First of all, the minute that the Taz uses to Sefer Shabbos the kula, and the calendar they changed. So this is, by the way, a third side of Tzavah Shabbos, okay? It's not a third side. Up to now, we spoke about Isam Olofa. We used the Goin, the Shulchan Ocharav, and the Rav Chaim to introduce a new tzad called Kedushas Yontif, which then allows us to split the Nafkaminas. I want to point out that this Taz who says that the minute that the guy's Mekabal on Shmini Atzeres is Votati this actually because he doesn't have to eat a sukkah anymore because it is now the Yontif of Sukkahs of Shmini Atzeres and the Yontif of Sukkahs ended. We're talking about a guy who's sitting in Shana Rabbah in the afternoon, the sun is shining. He made himself a Shmini Atzeres, the Kiddush, like Rabbi Shleib said, the kids want to go to sleep. He made himself a Shmini Atzeres. If he's not so excited by you, he made himself a Shtikal HaKofis and Gambit. He made himself a Suda, yeah? He doesn't have to sit in the Sukkah because it's, it's Shmini Atzeres already. Now, first of all, you'll all agree that that's a new tzad in what Tresis um, Yontav is. It's obviously not a Malacha. It's obviously not just Kedusha. Because it's obviously that it's the real thing. It's the Yom itself. Ad Kedei Kach, that the calendar they change. It's a shocking Taz. It's a shocking Taz. A shocking Taz. But the Taz is a Gilu. It's a window into a new understanding of the Seven Shabbos that we never had till now. Marshall, according to the Taz, we understand why uh, you should be able to eat matzah during the Seven Shabbos. The Taz says you, you don't have to sit in a sukkah, Rabbi Shalelo. That's kind of Taz. So the Taz, first of all, is, is a new thing. Is a, is a, is a new thing. What interests me in the context of our conversation is, is something else. It's, it's the Tarti de Sassi of the Marshal. What I wanna, what, what always intrigued me about the Marshal was, the Marshal says, if you're gonna make Kiddush Hashmini Atzeres, you wanna eat now, it's getting close to Shkia, you're not allowed to eat without making Kiddush, you make Kiddush. Shmini Atzeres, the seventh yontav, ma bayah. The bayah is, you have to eat in the sukkah. So it's Tarti de Sassi, you're making Kiddush Hashmini Atzeres, and you're making a leishev. Now, why the marshal held you still have to sit in the sukkah doesn't bother us. The Taz is the one who dropped the atom bomb here and we said you don't have to sit in the sukkah because the calendar day changed. Shocking. That's the nupshad in, in, in the Feb Shabbos, for say. But I want to know about the marshal. The marshal didn't hold that much. But why is it tied to the Sasri? Very interesting. This always intrigued me. Let's see. I say, if the reason why, that means the marshal held the calendar day didn't change. So he said, Avadi, you have to sit in a sukkah. Nothing to talk about. It's a Shana Rabba. It's just a cup. Norvos, if you want to eat now, because it's getting close to Shkia, or it's after Shkia already, you have to make Kiddush Shemina Tzeres, correct? Guy wants to eat. So he's going to make a Kiddush Shemina Tzeres, and that's going to be a steward to the Leishev. Fregich, and not Fregich, I want to done up. Hello. But we, we have three understandings now why a person is allowed to make Kiddush into Sefer Shabbos. Let's go over them. Sheet number one is, if it's an Issa Malacha, I asked earlier that if it's an Issa Malacha, why allowed to make Kiddush? You have the Ramam. The Ramam says a person makes Kiddush before Shabbos. I think we'll all agree that there's no Tati de Sasri. 
if the Kiddush that the guy is making is not because it's Chal Shmini Yatzeris yet. No, the Ramam said that a person makes Kiddush big Kni Sosoy. And it's not, not Yom Tov yet. And it's not even, at it, its maximum, it's a Moloch. It's not even Kiddush as Yom Tov. So then, why is it Tati the Sasri, by the way? The guy's making Kiddush. And it's, like, where's the Tati the Sasri? How like, the whole Mohus of Kiddush is big Kni Sosoy. There's a whole related Rambam. The Tati the Sasri doesn't even get off the ground. It means even if I don't hold like the extremism of the Taz, the Taz says the other way around, you don't have to sit in the Sukkah. You don't have to sit in the Sukkah. Fuck her. It's, it's about the Hashanah Rabbah. Nothing happened yet. But why is it Tati the Sasri? The Kiddush is not an articulation of the Chalei Shem Shemini Yatzeris. If I hold like the Taz, Shab 3, that Tushar Shabbos is Tushar Shabbos is the, is the Zach itself. Tushar Shabbos is the Yom Tif itself. So then I hear why it's tied to the Sasri. You're asking me, how can we tie to the Sasri if it's of itself? I said already earlier that Marshal is not Meshubit to the extremism of the Taz that it goes Lakula. You don't have to sit in the Sukkah. So if the Marshal, I would hold fundamentally like the Taz that together of, of uh, Tzachef Shabbos is that the calendar day changed, just it's not enough to be makel on you to get out of the Sukkah, then I understand why it's tied to the Sasri. Look, it's Shminiat Saras, and you're making a leisure of a Sukkah that's tied to the Sasri. I wonder, according to the Pshad, of what we're saying, the Goin, Reb Chaim, Shulchan Acharav, Mate Ephraim, this middle pshat, which says that the calendar date didn't change, but it's not just an Issa Malacha, Moiv Rabbi Sai. The Kedusha of the Yantav expands to the Choral, and it generates Dinam of Kedusha, Issa Malacha, Kiddush, Dvorim, Hashayochim, the Shabbos, said, said the Goyim. Or the Heilig Reb Chaim said, Dine Yantav. The Graz said, Kedusha's Yantav. Is that called Tarte de Sasri? So if the Barsha would agree to the Taz fundamentally to Pshat number three, that is a calendar change, because the calendar change came part to you from Sukkah. That's a, that's a, I want to point out that the Taz said two Kedush. He said, first of all, the calendar day changes. It's Shmini Yatzeros now. But he said another Zach, that the fact that the calendar day changes goes Lukula to part to you from Sukkah. That's a, that's a huge Kedush. If the Barsha fundamentally agreed to the Taz that the, the calendar day changed, just it doesn't go lakula. So then I understand why it's hard to discuss. I don't have a problem. But if I hold that the marshal doesn't hold that the calendar day changed, he learns. So again, here, here we are. So how did he learn? The calendar day didn't change. So what is Tesefer Shabbos? If it's just Isam Malacha, then Avada is not Tati the Sasri. Shaila is like this middle round, round shot that we're saying in the Goin, and we're saying in Reb Chaim, and we're saying in Shulchan Aruch we're saying in the Matar Ephraim, that the Gedera Advarim is that it's not just in Islam Malacha. It's a Gedera of Chalois Kedusha on the Choyl. Dvarim HaShayochim L'Shabbos to the Mohus of Shabbos, not to the day of Shabbos. We'll say it like that. Is that a Tati Desasri? Think about it. A guy's making Kiddush Shmini Yatzeres because I'm not in Shmini Yatzeres, but the Kedusha Shmini Yatzeres is already here. Is that Tati Desasri to say Aleishev Vasoka? That interests me greatly. That means what interests me greatly is, is that is it the pshat that the marshal agrees to the task that the calendar day changed? Hello, in the task state of Veltschidish, that the calendar day changed. The fact that the marshal says that it's a tarti disasri, is that a raya that he agrees to the task that the calendar day changed? Just he holds one kanesh that it's not lakul, it's only the khumra, which is a topic for itself. Could you use a tosefa shabbos to go be makel, not to eat in a sukkah? Or did the marshal agree to what looks to me to be the mainstream shot, which is the Goin and the Rav Chaim and the Graz and the Matar Chaim, that it's not a calendar day changed, just it's the Kedushas Hayyamtif or Shabbos which expanded into the Choyl and then Dinim which are Nagea to those things, to the Mohus of Shabbos, not to the day of Shabbos, that's Shayochim the Shabbos. Is, is that a target in the I don't have an answer. That's an interesting, Shiloh. I have, I'm making Kiddush not because it is the day of Shabbos. I'm making, I'm making Kiddush because I have the Kedusha of Shabbos on this hour. Is that a stira to saying a leisure of a sukkah? I'll leave that open to the, to the island to think about. The same Shiloh applies to what uh, Reb Shleim was Miram is in Tav Tzadik Vav, the Taz and the Morgan of Rome both bring down that we're noyig to delay Mayrev, excuse me, Tov Tzadik Dalit. In Tov Tzadik Dalit, we're noyig to delay Mayrev on, um, on Lel Shvuas in order that you be Tmimos. By the way, that alone is an interesting thing. What does that have to do with Tmimos? I counted last night. 
they thought that Tamimus is a din in the days going by, not in the act of the counting. That's a topic which is, when the Archicala gets to Sira Saimer, maybe we'll talk about it. Fascinating thing. We don't stop Mayrev till later on. We don't stop Mayrev till later on uh, on Shavuos night, says the Morgan Avram, I'm quoting over here, because it says you have to have Tamimus. The guy counted the 49th day last night. It doesn't make a difference. Knock upon him. Shteto, that you don't do Mayrev. Now, Let's speak this out. And why, if I dive in my early, am I staring the Tamimis? Because I brought the Yontav Hashulahs in, right? Now, wait a minute. If I dive in my I brought the Yontav Hashulahs in. So they came out, the Shulahs came out in the middle of the 49 days. That's what it means, by the way. You can't dive in my early because by making my the Yontav's coming in. And it's going to come out, the Shulahs will be in the middle of the 49 days. It's called Tamimis. Davening my is an act of beginning the Yontav Hashulahs. So it's interesting. I, I didn't see it today. I didn't have time. I saw Brodam B'Shem the Shalah Kaddish that he says the problem is not Meir. The problem is Kiddush. I once saw a Mimer in Maria many years ago about this, which I, I didn't get a chance to see now. But it's very interesting. Where are you having one there? Where? Oh, so. Shalem is showing me over here the Shalak Kodesh, which says that's a problem in Kiddush, not Mayrev. So Mayrev is not a Pella, because Mayrev is not the beginning of Yontav. Prison Davids Mayrev early a whole year has no meaning. But Kiddush is very interesting in light of our conversation today. If Kiddush is like the Rambam, is Avada, there's no problem. Because there's no meaning in Bukhal. It's not the Yontav, it's Bikini Salsay. But according to the Pshat that we're saying that Kiddush is a derivative of the Kiddush of the Yontav, but it's not the calendar day, and that's why I can't do the mitzvahs of the Yontav. I don't understand why such a thing is called a steerer to the Tamimos. That that I'm making Kiddush is not uh, that that I'm making Kiddush is not an expression of the Yontif itself. It's the Kiddusha of the Yontif. Interesting Shaila. In other words, there's a dilemma about Mayru. The Shalak Kodesh says Kiddush. And the Fiat Dvor Me'ela that we spoke out today that Kiddush is a derivative of the Kiddusha Sayoim, not the Itzumoy Shalyoim, is Yesh Lain why, why that which there are the Tamimos? Yesh Lain was, I don't know what to say. Maybe before it's called Tamimos because you already brought the Kiddusha in, but it's not the Yontif itself. The fact that the Morgan of Rome and the Taz, both of them say that it's a soul. The Taz Lashit also is Gishmak, right? Because the Taz Lashit also holds that uh, when you make the Kiddush, you're, you're, you're changing the calendar date. That's fine. But um, Yesh Lain, if everybody else who argues on the Taz, or we have to know why the Mashal argues on the Taz, um, what, what, whether there would be a problem in making Kiddush early on Shavuos by night, whether that's what I'll call a stira to the Tamimois, is that called that I brought in the Yontif during the days of, of the Sira Saimah. So to summarize, we spoke about three pshatim in Tzav Shabbos, the extreme pshat of Issa Malacha, the Emek Bracha, and the Rebuchanan. We spoke about the middle ground, the new pshat of the Goin, Purusha Goin, who brought together the two Tzavos in the Reb Chaim and the Shulchan Aruch We spoke about the third extreme pshat in the Taz, and we said that the litmus test could be either a Suda. Suda is a very interesting phenomenon. It's not exactly like matzah. It's not exactly like Yiddish. And we said the Ikrinaf Kamina could be whether there's a Tartar Disasri from the Lesha Basoko or the Kiddish, and whether or not the Kiddish on Lol Shavuos is a stira to the Tamimus of Sira Saimur. Should I say something? What? Yeah. Just say something short of uh, the COVID, the Yantav coming up. It's very interesting, Loshana Rambam, in um, famous Rambam actually, Perk Vav, Perk Gimel Halacha Vav, Yechosam Ram speaks about somebody wants to be Zeich in Kesar Teru. Shtein Rama Misha Nazar Libra Lakayim Mitzvah Zuv Lios Muchtor Bekesar HaTeru. The Rama uses a Loshin, a Moridik Loshin of Nisoy Liboy. Kesar Teru has Shachas to Nisiyah Slave. Badovo Emer Darshani, what's the Pshat? If you're the Pshat like this, and it's something which is very relevant to all of us. Why is Kesar Teru connected to Nisiyah Slave? If you're the Pshat Zazay. The Shemi Shmuel says on Shavuos, Actually, I'll go back a step, please. We find in the Ramban and Parshas Vayakel that the lotion of a Nisiya slave is describing a specific phenomenon that's different than a diva slave. A diva slave means philanthropy, a Klai soul donated to the Mishkan. Nisiya slave, says the Ramban, are people who came and donated their ability to do malacha in the Mishkan. And the malacha that they came along, they didn't know how to do it. Nobody trained them, nobody taught them. Says the Ramban, Motsam Betivoy, they found it in their nature to do it. And they came to Moshe Rabbeinu and they said, whatever you say, we're going to do. So and how did they access it? They lifted themselves up. 
So the Ramban is blessing him in intrinsic steer. On one hand, he says that it was betivon. Betivon is mashal, like, you know, we all have that brother in law who knows how to do the electricity to fix things in the house. They were talented. That's not by Yigbal Ibu Badak Hashem. That's not called Messiah or slave. What he meant was, was that they were able to find it in their Teva, something that nobody taught them, and they bets him didn't know, quote unquote, because by Yigbal Ibu Badak Hashem, there are, there are things that a person is able to step out of the box and step up to the plate. Because he has a gavo slave. That's the seal slave. I want to share with you a Muritika Shemishmo. We all know the Chazal says that Koshbohu came to all the Umois and offered them the Torah. Edoim said, We can't do it. Esav, Leisertzach, Yishmal, Leisignov, even though they're guns fine at Leisertzach these days. But uh, they're Pera Adam Yad Cowboy. So we always understood that the Pshat the Chazal is, is they said, look, our ideology is Ritzich, our ideology is our way of life. We can't accept the Torah. The Shem Yishmol says something else. The Hedel Shem Yishmol says, Pshat is, they looked inside themselves. They looked inside their Teva. They looked inside their natural tendencies. They said, you know something? It's a great thing. We can't do it. We can't fight our nature. We can't step out of our comfort zone. We can't step out of the box. Klai Yisrael, when they said Nasir and Ishmael, also undertook something, says Rashi and Shabbos Tafeches, that they had no idea of They had no idea. Says the Heligah Hashem Yishmael, Klai Yisrael, Vayig Balibam Medarke Hashem, they had a Geos the Kedusha. They stepped up to the plate and said, you know something? We're going to do it somehow. We could do it. So the entire Kabbalah Satero was an act of Gaifa. It was an act of Zich Haven. It was an act of an Asiya slave of stepping up to do something which, under normal circumstances, is impossible. And it's not impossible. And they didn't Look to their natural limitations. He says, Amari de Kazakh, he says that that's the reason why on the Shtei Alechem is Chometz. Chometz is Gaiva. Shvuas is the Yontiv of a Heilige Gaiva. Ver Benich is very nice, but the whole Man Torah is result. I mean, it's Chometz is Gaiva, it's a terrible thing. But there's a time when a person needs to use his Gaiva to say, I could do it. I could do more. I could reach for more. I could step out of my comfort zone. And the entire Mount Torah span, spinned around this Nakuda. The Goyim said, we can't step out of our comfort zone. I would end on a beautiful morale and going to many places. Paisal is called Odom. The Umay Soyom are called Behema. Morale says Behema is the word. Ba Ma. Ba, what there is, is what there is. I think saying Hebrew, Zema Sheyesh. A Behema represents stagnation. That's why if Behema says the Goyim and Sherashirim is created complete. Rabbi Rucham says, you know, when a cat's created, a minute after it's born, it, it doesn't get run over by trucks. And little kids do. Why is that? Because, says the Goyen Hashirim, in the beginning of Perak Beis, a behema is born without any header. A behema is born, a behema is stagnation. Atem kuyim adam, Klai Yisrael is called adam, because an adam, says the morale, is me adam, is potential, is growth. In a a human being is called a mahalach. He progresses. That's why it's incredible. The only organism in the entire Bria that's born nothing and has to develop is a human being, which is, should have been the opposite. A little kitten doesn't cross the street. When he sees a truck coming, he steps back. But a little kid will get run over. Because a person was created beheader, and the person needs to grow, and the person needs to steig. The entire mantra was an act of stepping out of the box. The Umas couldn't step out of the box. They were stuck. That's behema. That's ba ma zema sheyesh. Esau was born. Like Rashi says, completely finished. He was Gomor. He was Osui. There's no process. There's no growth. There's no steigen. There's only stagnation. Boma. Whatever there is, there is. Odda means Odda me Adama that I'm constantly bringing out to Kerfus. So Klai Yisrael's Atem Kuyim Odom. Klai Yisrael says, we could step out of the box. That's why this Chometz on Shmuel says, the Heil HaGashem Yishmuel, it's a guy with the Kedushim. Mele, it's Nifla Moed, Rabbi Yisai. says, Gemara says in Shabbos, Bishal She Kaisol said Nasev and Ishma, Kashu Lahem Shnei Ksarim. Isn't that Halik is Fasemes? Moiridik, life changing. So, Akus Fasemes, why? Because when Kaisol said Nasev and Ishma, they were Makabal on themselves something more than their Kaisos. They stepped out of their box. A Keser is above our heads, it's higher than us, it's above our natural Hasogis. Says the Halik is Fasemes, when Klai Yisrael's Mechabal Nasev and Ishma, they stepped out of their natural box. They stepped out of their natural limitations. They said, we're not going to be stuck in our Dalaramas, in our comfort zone. How? What? When? Where? Whatever you measure, we'll, we'll, we'll supply the goods. How? What? When? We can do it. That's Gaiva to Kedusha. 
says the Svasem is when Klaes was a Nasa Venishma, they got Kesir Torah because they stepped out of their box. Lamalo Mikoichom, because who gave them Kisrei Torah, Lamalo Mahasagosom. So, Dr. Rambam, Komishan is so early, boy. Anytime you step out of your box, anytime you hip the hoof, and you go above your limitation, and you go above your kreches, he's like the kasher Torah. Who told the Rambam that? That's what happened with Shas Man Torah. With Shas Klaizol, the Nasa Venishma, where they stepped out of their box, they stepped out of their comfort zone. Atem Kuyim Adam, they were like the Nixarim. So the Rambam, call me Shnei boy. Any time a person makes progress, a person doesn't stagnate. A person takes on above his kreches. He says, "I'll be able to do it." Guy with the Rusha, person is like the kasher Shal Torah. I'm putting Yontif Kol Tov.